A stampers, it's Gaynor again. And um, I had a little play with the new set that I had the other day. Look, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's the new Painted Seasons uh, stamp set which you can earn in the celebration. I've already cut out um, masks in case I'd wanted to do a project where I was doing, say, some designer series paper. But I just think this is so adorable and so cute. And we've got a beautiful vellum overlay. We've got some of the ribbon. We've got half of what, I know, contrasting colours. Who would have thought that it's putting something a different colour with a set to a really set it off. And then we've got a beautiful little bow there with one of the little buttons of the gem on from the needle point nook set. These beautiful flowers absolutely gorgeous and the leaves i haven't bought the dies yet so i've fussy cut all this out by hand and your supplies are quite minimal really a piece of ribbon to go around your card after one little button half the other half of that doily i've got a piece of designer series paper which is beautiful either way round that would actually go with that Wouldn't it? Oh, mind you, it won't go with my ribbon. So I'm keeping it that way. <laughs> and that's going to get a deer on there. That will be overlaid. So you need those. You need a piece of Whisper White for your sentiment, your flowers, and your leaves. And your card base. Oh, seems like we've got a little bit of a mark on there. So. Let's see if we can fold it and hide it behind the just designer series paper. Don't know where that came from. So let's just get this card folded in half. This is eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. And if you're American, yours will be eight and a half by five and a half. Scored and folded at four and one eighth. So there's that little mark. Will my paper cover it? Let's have a look. Yay, fingers crossed, it just has. So we can do this down right now if you want. I love the papers. It's a shame to cover them up, isn't it? And this piece is three and five eighths by five and three eighths. I was going to layer it and then I thought, no, I like to see a bit more of the white on this card this time. So that's what we've done. We've got a bit more of a border all the way around. I like that. So that looks good to me, nice and straight. And um, while our glue is out, we can just dot this on. Beautiful. And this is going to be adhered right at the very bottom of the card. Let's just make sure we've got it straight. Looks pretty good to me. There we go. How simple was that? Love it. <gasps> I've done it again. I'm a silly sausage. I should have added my ribbon. I'll have to wrap it round the vellum and just have it shorter. Oh, what a silly sausage. <laughs> oh, well, this one's going to be slightly different. It's going to get wrapped round there. <laughs> what am I like? I'm rushing, see, that's what it is. Let me just pop my button out of the way. Oh, bless. So, let's get this wrapped around the vellum before we forget. Oh, I don't know what it is. My head goes peak tong sometimes. At least you won't see the glue. And the reason I've added it all across because I know there's plenty to wrap it around keep it into place that's what I get for talking to myself <laughs> I'm just going to put a dot of glue under there so that all that ribbon is secure now around the bottom perfect so we've got a short bit of ribbon but it doesn't matter <laughs> what my like. 
So I'm going to leave that to one side to dry a little bit. I'm just going to give it a, a bit of a smooth. There's no glue on this side. That's why I've attached it at the back. So I'll let that sit and rest for a moment. And then we will fetch in... Uh, oh, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm just going to punch my label out, which goes with... It's called the Story Label Punch because it cuts out every single one of them sentiments in the part of my story stamp set. So that's what that's for. So that's for my sentiment. I'm used, I'm not normally a lover of this pink, but uh, what am I doing? Wrong end. I'm going to pop that to one side. Yes, it's not my cup of tea, if you know what I mean. But uh, it's a bit too pale for my liking. But I did like this card that I made. So I'm going to stamp two of these. Beautiful. But it does dry a lot paler. So, I'm just going to give these a clean as we go along. See, it doesn't leave much of a stain. Oh, and on the inside, oh, we're going to need that again in a minute. On the inside of these beautiful little, they look like little stars to me. Well, that's what I've done down both sides of my card. I've just stamped, just to give it a little bit of um, help. Stop it from being too bland inside. And I got this other, oh, they just look beautiful after they've been stamped. They're just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And I'm going to grab my pear pizzazz. I'm leaving the pink out because we're going to do the inside of the card after. And I've got these beautiful leaves. We're just going to ink it up. And we're going to just stamp them randomly on the card. They're just so sweet. There are dies for this set, which I will order before time runs out beautiful so I want two of the leaves so that can go to one side for a moment let's grab this beautiful oh, let's put the green away mind you we could do alternate colors couldn't we for the inside so pink Miss the space, pink, miss the space. Just leave enough space to get your green one in there. Just breaks it up, doesn't it? Adds a bit of lushness. I'm going to start at this side at the bottom. Work my way up. Oh, they're just so pretty. Perfect. Let's give that a little wipe. Da -da 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 -da. Pop that ink away. Let's have a go with the green now. Oh, it's just pale and beautiful and it's just so sweet. Anything uh, to decorate the inside of a card, I think is cute. Just adds that extra little something. Doesn't that look really pretty? I like the alternate colours, actually. That's really sweet. Let me just uh, pull my camera back a little bit. That's better. I seem to be 
working off the edge of my paper. So that's it for the ink in the colours. I'm going to get the black ink out now. Leave my pot open for a minute. Otherwise I'll just be in and out, in and out, in and out. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that's going to go on there. But I'm going to add dimensionals on the back, like I did on this one. It's standing off the page. So let's get some cutting done. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Right, scissors, scissors, scissors. I'm just going to have a swig of my coffees. Oh my God, ladies. Mr. Boyce just fetched me a fresh one up and it's... Mm. It's nice and warm and it's, oh, beautiful. Mmm. Thirsty work. <laughs> so, I'm just going to roughly... I like to cut them out in sections. Oops. I'm not one of these that can fussy cut and have all the paper on at the same time. So... Apparently you, uh, you move your left hand and just cut with your right. I used to try and move the scissors, not my hand. Absolutely pretty. Get me saving paper again. You never know. You never know. And <laughs> Kane is being tight again. I think that's because when I was younger, my mum was a Jehovah's Witness. And I'm not dissing any Jehovah's Witness, but. My mum was a bit hypocritical with it as well. She sure took the right, um, made sure we didn't have Christmas and birthday, but that way saved her a fortune. So I think that's the frugal in me that save, save, save. Because we never used to get when we were kids. Beautiful. It just wasn't my cup of tea. Being uh, forced into a religion I didn't want to follow. I am a Christian. I love and fear God. And I pray all the time. All the time. don't have to go to a building, I don't think, to pray. God is everywhere. He can hear you wherever you are. There we go. There's our other flower. And now for these beautiful dainty leaves. They're so sweet. I'm not going to go too uh, adventurous with these. Just going to make sure we can see them. And have a little white border all the way around. Without getting too close. Too fiddly. So there's one. <gasps> one more to go. My problem with the dies was I didn't know they were there until after I placed the order and then somebody pointed me in the right direction. 
I rush into things, see. <laughs> I'm an Im impulse buyer, as they say. It's like I order everything that I want. And then I forget about the essentials like cardstock and dimensionals and blades and <laughs> everything else. So there we go. I wasn't too fussed. I don't want to be too sharp on them ends, but we're not going to see them anyway. We're going to get tucked away, they are. So, let's get this rubbish in the bin. Pop my snips away. And I'm going to add dimensionals on... No, I'm not. I'm sticking them on the vellum, and the dimensionals will go around the back. So, glue time at the ready again. I think, yeah, go on, I'm going to stick to the same arrangement. Come on, glue. There we go. I want to add a little bit of glue on. Oh, shavings. On my leaf as well. So I'm going to have this one. Coming up the top, and you've got a really detailed petal there, and I'm, that is what I want to keep poking out the top there. For some reason, this vellum seems shorter. I think it might be, you know, because of the ribbon, but never mind. I'll get it to work. And again, that detail is going up the top. And our dimensionals I'll add behind the flowers. And again, I'm going to do the leaf at the same time. I'm going to have this one actually coming across and onto our ribbon there. And this is just gonna go about there. Again, onto the ribbon this time. That is so pretty. Just beautiful. So I'm gonna pop this away for a minute. The dimensionals are coming out. Isn't stuck. The papers come off the back as well. Look, it's better. I miss this one. So I'm going to pop some along where the ribbon's gone as well. And now for my half ones, my minis. I've cut some in half here for the leaves. Just so we got a bit more stability at the top. I think that should be fine. My little tub is getting full. Move the back ends. So this can be carefully lined up now. I'll just put those things down. Keep them right along the edge. No, I've got to come down a fraction. Let's have a look. Oh, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Nice and straight. Oh, love it. Now for my black ink. The sentiment, because there's no sentiments with this set, the 
the sentiment is from uh, Wonderful Romance and it's that beautiful thinking of you and look at that is if I stamp that now perfect with the lines then it's my stamp is straight because my stickers my stickers on wrong so I attached it by looking at it this way so I can't look at the I, I can't look at the sentiment itself I've got to look at the lines so I'm keeping my lines straight and there you go perfect yay <laughs> now if I had just gone like that and forgot it would have been on the wonk <laughs> on the wonk <laughs> so let's clear that off nice and squeaky clean sticky fingers and more dimensionals just going to pop a couple on the back it's quite a girly card for me this is and I'm not really a, well I am, I am I can't keep saying I'm not a girly girly because I am um, I am going to place this I'm going to actually come down a little bit this time and I'm going to have to put another dimensional on. So what I'm going to do is take off the backing as well. Because look, it's tipping. That's got it. That's going to hold it in place. So I've got a few rhinestones left here. I'm going to put one either side. And the other one is for my button, which is here. I'm going to fetch it in the bow maker. And they be, I love this baker's, uh, this linen thread, it's beautiful. So, you're going to have to have a long piece and wrap it around twice. Flick it under. It makes beautiful bows, the bow maker does, with, especially with this linen thread. And with your... Uh, baker's twine as well because if you start pulling out loops these tend to curl up and with this they don't and you, you don't tend to lose much and leaving it attached you're only going to lose that much which I can live with <laughs> Oh, I love this stuff. Um, I need some more. Do they still sell it? I don't know. I love my scissors. Um, so you can just separate them if you want to. I'll just leave them as they fall. So I'm using glue. So I'm just going to add a drop of glue to the button at the back, uh, on the front. And I'm having my bow on there. So when I pick it up, I can add some more glue and attach that to my card up top here. And just to get those tails to curl is so simple just grab your nail whilst holding the pin the pe a peg a button even and just run it through your fingers and they just start to curl up and leave little curly bits like that isn't that cute I love it and then what I did then I just popped another little beautiful rhinestone. Try and keep it in the centre. And press it down. That is absolutely gorgeous. So, as you know me, what's my nickname? Stella. <laughs> With the wink of. There 
Have you noticed it's a new pin? All my pins come the other day as well. Look, I'm never going to run out of pins, am I? I think it was £2 but off eBay for the whole lot. So, Wink Costella. All over the leaves and the flowers. I can't believe I attached that then without... Uh, Touching my ribbon till after, or before, should I say? So I'm just oh, love my Winker Stella. Let's have a look. Can you see that now? And give it a lovely shine. There it is. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Am I missing anything? Oh my gosh, could I add anything else? I don't know. What do you reckon? It's absolutely stunning. So, ribbon all the way across, ribbon tucked behind. Lovely tails on our rib, um, lemon thread. I just think it's an absolutely really, really pretty card. A bit shabby chicy, even, isn't it? Just lovely. There you go, there's tonight's card. I hope you enjoy. Um, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This is just the plain pink inside and this is the one with the pink and the green inside. Beautiful. Just think they are really, really pretty cards. And I hope you enjoyed. I really did. I'd love a thumbs up and a share, that'd be amazing. And please, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I have a lot more to offer. And uh, yeah. I post every day, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and Sunday sketch. So I've still got lots, lots, lots more to show you. So press the button and don't forget the bell. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.